disc using whoever you'd want to ship for just a couple of hundred bucks. Yeah. Because if someone steals it, good luck. You've stolen a machine's worth a few thousand dollars, but you're not going to get anything. Yeah. You're very unlikely to get anything off the contents so of the you, disc. So you're saying you could conceivably just insure for the loss of the hardware itself exactly. as opposed to paying for a security type service to guard and protect that exactly. in transit. But now when the machine turns up to, let's say, the branch manager, the branch manager phones his boss, perhaps at base, his boss attests that, that, that it is who he or she thinks they're speaking to, reads the recovery key out to them, and they type it in, just like I mentioned earlier. That server can come alive again, and now that server's can be secured, that server's now can work and function, you securely delivered it. That's really cool. Excellent. I'll point out that for laptops, it's, it was clearly the low-hanging fruit, if you think about it. It's in between those two extremes, desktops. And sadly, we've seen relatively recent events where Mother Nature has turned what we thought was a secure environment into an insecure one. Yes. Right? There are, I distinctly remember images of people in boats after Katrina uh, paddling or, or, or using the engines to, to move away from office buildings with stuff in them. Mm -hmm. right? That stuff may be your servers or your desktops that you thought was in a physically secure location, but wasn't. It's not anymore. Yeah. So, um, sure, of course, most organizations, like everything else, you should threat model your environment, you should prioritize you know, where you invest your time first, and laptops is clearly and it, no, it's, it's the no-brainer. But really consider uh, branch office servers, any desktops too. Okay. Here, here's my number one question that I've been getting asked here since I've been doing some of these BitLocker presentations for the last few weeks. Sure. Um, Vista is currently included in Vista Ultimate and the Vista Enterprise editions. Why isn't it just included across the board in every single version of Vista? It's a good question. Yeah. BitLocker's in... Um, as you pointed out, it's in the enterprise, it's in the ultimate. And those are SKUs designed for specific targets. The enterprise SKU, as the name suggests, was, was designed for the enterprises, um, large enterprises, and thousands of laptops and desktops, yeah. to ten, you know, hundreds and hundreds, like large organizations with IT staff. And ultimate was focused, um, and it is focused, uh, on the enthusiast PC. Now, this is an important point to make because a bit like a Drive encryption is a very powerful tool, neat, tightly integrated, with lots of options. But like a lot of tools, especially data protection tools, there's pluses and negatives, especially uh, in what's known as the data recovery scenario, the one I spoke to you earlier. I, I talked about key escrow. In any data protection solution, the, the escrowing of a recovery key, um, safely putting away the backup key to the front door, and so if you lose your key, you can get hold of someone, maybe the next door neighbor, who can give you a key so you can get in. Well, with encryption, you can't break a window. If, 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 you, if you don't have the key, then the data is protected as strong as the encryption algorithm. And as far as I know, AES hasn't been broken yet. There's, there's no break glass there's, in case of emergency button or anything. If, <laughs> if you don't have the recovery key, you're hosed. Yes. So that means the creation and secure storage of that recovery key is very important. Now, when we think about the threats that BitLock has been designed to address, you know, protecting credit card numbers, customer names and data, uh, the kinds of things the businesses, and perhaps um, you know, um, accountants, lawyers, um, people in the technology uh, trade who may be consultants, uh, um, the kinds of information that they would need to protect, clearly there's a higher need for protecting their data than, well, I mentioned it earlier, you know, my pictures on my, you know, my dog and me and, and, and games that I may play at home. Um, when you consider that the, the, the threat model and, and, and the, the threats and the data it's protecting, BitLock is protecting, and the absolute need to have an infrastructure that can, can manage and hold and store those recovery keys, we made the conscious decision to put BitLocker in those SKUs. So it's focused on the enterprise SKU for, for large organizations who, who've got active directory infrastructure, trained IT staff, and we, 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 we go to the... Um, made available to home users and, and you know, single, you know, mum and pup if you will, businesses, you know, um, single individuals, um, perhaps consultants, whatever, through, through Ultima, because they tend to be the enthusiast. And both of those SKUs um, have models that allow for, for, for the protection of data and, 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 and targeted at, you know, very IT aware. Um, 
I'm in the biz and I don't have it like I turned on on my game machine because frankly there's nothing there for anyone that, you know, if you steal my machine um, and you have a look at it you'll see that I spend entirely too much time playing Dungeons and Dragons type games and that's about all you're going to get. Right? So um, that's that, that, that collection of reasons it, um, you know, trying to make sure that people didn't accidentally shoot themselves in the foot is basically what I'm saying. Um, it is why the, that, that data protection technology is in, in Enterprise and Ultimate. Excellent. Okay. Well, thank you very much for your time today, Russ. Uh, uh, we appreciate you spending some time talking to us about BitLocker, and hopefully this answers some of the questions that my attendees have had. Sure. Uh, if not, maybe we'll come back and do another interview with you a little bit later on. Love to. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Russ. Cheers, man.